I'm trying to fix the exposure on the camera and it's just so bright I can't fix it so we're just gonna roll with it today guys is Friday good Friday and Sunday is Easter and I have still not finished um, I gotta turn this off because someone's blowing up my phone my husband um, um, Sunday is Easter I still do not have everything that I need for the girls completed in their Easter baskets yet. So I need to get on that. I shared a TikTok over on my TikTok. It's at Kaylee's catalog. If you want to follow me over there, I shared the idea of instead of doing an Easter basket, doing rain boots, like just filling rain boots. And I think I'm going to go with that and do that this year. See how they like that. They already have Easter baskets from last year that they can do their Easter hunt with. So I don't need to buy another one. Um, that's what we're on the hunt for. I'm also wanting to see what's new in the Target dollar spot. So I will take you guys over there with me. We'll walk around Target, see what's new and what's catching our eye. And we might even, we might even go into Home Goods. So we'll see about that. Okay. I really want to run in there. I'm not looking for anything in particular, but I just kind of want to see what's in there. But that's what today's video is, just shopping, seeing what's new at Target, and grabbing the rest of what I need for the Easter baskets for the girls, or rain boots, whatever I do. At the end of this video, I will show you what I picked up, and I'll show you like the completed rain boots, <laughs> if that's what I do, or an Easter basket. Whatever I end up seeing and doing, I'll show you guys at the end of this video. And yeah, we'll just we'll go ahead and jump right into it. So let's head inside Target. I'm going to show you guys starting off some new things that are in the Target dollar spot that are catching my eye. After I show you guys stuff in the dollar spot, we're going to move on to different sections of Target and I'll be showing you some new arrivals in those sections. Then I will show you guys a haul in my car of everything that I bought at Target today. And then after that, I'll show you how I did the girls Easter baskets and you know what I put in them and what they look like. So today's video is just filled of some fun shopping and chatting and yeah so i actually really love a lot of these things that are in the wedding section and the target dollar spot these are really cute hats really cute pouches really cute cups they had the champagne glass for five dollars the wine glasses were two or no i'm sorry they were three dollars each they have these little koozies for the bride and the groom and the wedding party they even have ball caps so these are all really fun things that you can add to maybe a basket or a box if you're asking someone to be your bridesmaid or if you just want to give gifts to your wedding party i think all of this stuff is really cute and i love to see this in my target dollar spot after i show you the wedding stuff i am going to show you this really cute home decor planter i am super curious how would you guys style this are you guys going to diy this are you going to fill it with maybe some herbs are you tell me what you're gonna do with this decor piece because i'm super excited to hear actually guys i am doing a full front porch transformation coming up we're redoing all of our landscaping and my father-in-law made me some raised bed planners and i am gonna have a little garden area we're gonna start there first and then i'll do more of like a vegetable garden in our backyard but i'm getting ahead of myself here just letting you guys know that that is coming soon i'm entering my garden era I also wanted to show you guys really quick some of their basket options. I know that these tied knot rope baskets are not new, but I haven't been able to see them in my Target dollar spot. They are usually bought up as soon as they are put out. So it was fully stocked today and I wanted to show you guys some of the options that they had for baskets. This is actually a trending thing that I'm seeing all over TikTok, all over Instagram. People are using these little baskets hanging on their front door, their back door, their garage door, their pantry door. They're filling it full of florals. It's really beautiful and to see it for only $5 in Target dollar spot was super exciting. I found one that I really liked at Kirkland's, but it was like $55. So I passed on it. And this looks almost identical. So Target Dollar Spot has a whole section now for lake home decor. And I thought that was so cool. I've never seen anything really like 
geared towards lake home decor in the dollar in the dollar spot before so i had to show you guys these finds the theme is kind of like white and navy has some burlap you know they always have these little baskets with the six slots in it for christmas for valentine's day for easter they always have those and so they even did it for their lake section they have some pillow options which i'm showing you guys right now a mirror some vases and yeah it was all really cute if you are getting a lake house or if you're decorating your home for that then you probably definitely want to check out the target dollar spot because they had some really cute finds another cool find in the target dollar spot was this log vase i thought this was so unique if you're doing a boys nursery like a woodland theme i think that you could do so many things with this you could fill it full of passies or you could put it on a floating shelf you can you know, use it on, you can use it for anything. It's super cute and super unique. So I had to show you guys that. A new find also are these cacti. I should say, I was almost about to say cactuses, but that's not proper grammar. It would be cacti since there's more than one vase, but these are really cute and it's in an aqua color and then more of a green one. They also have some more storage. These are woven with a little top knot on the top. I think that this was supposed to be over there with the lake stuff, but you know, you can use it for anything. I love this tiered hanging basket. Again, I'm entering my garden area, so enter anything like plants um, is catching my eye when i'm shopping and i thought this was super cute if you're looking for a hanging basket this is only five dollars something else that caught my eye that i was super excited to see in our dollar spot were these little accent knotted rope balls so these are little things that look perfect on a floating shelf if you just need to add a little oomph to something or if you want to put it on a home decor book and they even have it in those lake colors as well. My girls have these hooded towels for summer that my mother-in-law bought from Hawaii, and I always get so many compliments when people see them with them, and they really like the idea that it has the hood, you can wear it, and I saw these in the Target dollar spot, so I had to show you guys for only $5, and they have them in the orange and white, and then the blue and white, is what it looks like there's only those two color schemes but they're super cute so i had to show you guys that gonna show you guys some kid bug finds if i wasn't posting this video so late in the game i would say that this would be really cute to add to easter baskets um so if you guys did that let me know down below because i think that this would have been such a cute idea after I show you guys these cute glass vases, that's going to wrap it up for the new things, home decor, and items that I'm seeing in my Target dollar spot, aka Bullseye Playground. Who even calls it the Bullseye Playground, honestly? Do any of you guys call it that? Because I feel like everybody still calls it the Target dollar spot. I don't know why they rebranded it to bullseye playground anyway moving on now we're going to hit up the arts and crafts so i love this brand and i don't think i'm saying it correctly but monday llama Mon monday llama i love 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 them and i'm about to show you guys some really cute arts and crafts ideas for them they're on sale right now for 15 percent off at target and they have such good paint, such good quality of all their arts and crafts. The girls love getting these for their birthday, for Christmas, for Easter. I always make sure to get something from the arts and crafts from this brand because it is phenomenal. So no, this is not sponsored by them. I wish I spend so much money on Monday Llama because I love, love, love them. But I had to show you guys that to give you guys idea if you're looking for a birthday gift or anything like that and you're just trying to avoid getting another toy, definitely check out the arts and crafts. This brand, phenomenal. I know this sale is only like a dollar or two off, but honestly, when you're buying a lot of things, that stuff adds up. So definitely go check out that brand. I also wanted to show you guys the Sugar Plum Stationery at Target. 
I know that this is not necessarily new, but they haven't had it at my Target. The end caps always have new stationery, and I've been waiting to see some of the sugar plum options. If you are someone who doesn't have a lot of storage at your desk area, and a lot of your books and your notepads and your planners have to be left out on your desk, then you would really like this because this all looks very clean, very sleek, very aesthetic, so it's not gonna make your desk like like a big mess, like a big hot mess. It's not gonna look like that because it's all very beautiful and more of the neutral colors and minimalistic vibes here, which I feel like a lot of people are going for with their office areas. So had to show you guys that the sugar paper actually is what it's called. I said earlier, sugar plum and sugar paper. I will correct myself. They even have a really cute coffee glass that I'm going to show you guys here in a second. Um, a coffee mug that has little peach hearts all over and the inside is peach as well. And I'm trying not to shop for me this trip and just get what I need for my family for Easter. But if I was shopping for me, I would have picked that up. <laughs> Next stop is the clearance section. You guys should always check your clearance end caps at Target. I always come here because you never know what you're going to find. I found three beautiful woven baskets here before for 60% off. So always come and check out your clearance end caps because they're always usually fully stocked. Something that I never have shown you guys before in any of my Target shop with me videos are lighting and lamps. And I actually am in love with this threshold floor lamp it has shelving in it and if you guys are not new here you know that in my living room I have been looking for an accent table and then also a floor lamp to go on or not a floor lamp a table lamp to go on the accent table next to my couch well now that I've seen these floor lamps that have the shelving I actually really want to get that for next to my couch instead and just put like a little plant like it's displaying right there in between maybe maybe a home decor book or something. Um, I, it's, I cannot talk today, guys. It is, when can I ever talk though, honestly? I think I might have ADHD, I'm not for sure. I've been seeing TikToks of people showing like they have undiagnosed ADHD and they're just now realizing it in life. I'm like, I think that may be me, I'm 28. I've never been diagnosed with it, but I think I might have it. Um, Anyway, those floor lamps were $100. I'm waiting to see if I'm gonna get a Target Circle app, like a little discount or code. And if I get something for that, I'm definitely gonna grab it up. But I wanted to show you a couple more of their table lamps from Threshold. And we're gonna head over to Hearth and Hand after this, show you guys what's new there, what's catching my eye. And then after that, I'm gonna show you some of my favorite candles. Then I think we're going to go over to cosmetics, look at some rain boots for the girls. And yeah, we're just going to work our way around here at Target. I love the hearth and hand section, but I don't love their pricing. I feel like their pricing is a little bit overboard, just a little bit too much. So I will usually only buy from them if there's a sale going on. I really love this metal watering can though, and it's only $20. And so I was like, okay, I feel like maybe they're taking their pricing down just a little bit. Does anybody else feel like that? I used to feel like it was just way overpriced but lately I'm seeing pretty good prices. So this brass one was 17 and I really wanna get that for a floating shelf. Uh, it has a, a matching mister. I already have a mister that is an aqua glass stain color that's on my floating shelves that I bought for spring, but I think I'm gonna use it all year round because it's so pretty. Had to show you guys this decorative tray. It's metal and then it has the brass handles. If you guys remember last year, they had a fully brass one and it went viral. Everybody wanted that tray. It was so hard to find in store. People were selling it for like, 
like triple the price. So wanted to show you guys that they have a similar one like that out now in case you are looking for one. Also wanted to show you that in store now they do have the little toaster sets. At Christmas time I bought the girls a Hearth and Hand Cafe like barista place play set and I had the little toaster kit in there and everybody wanted to know where it was from. I replied to a couple of you but in case you didn't see or you don't check comments on the videos and you're still wondering, it's from Hearth and Hand. I wanted to tell you guys that this KitchenAid set by Hearth and Hand is not new but it is new to me because it's the first time I'm seeing it in store and I'm obsessed with the color. Okay, so these are new. You guys know how much I love their tangerine, the orange one of these. I got it and I showed it in my spring haul. And it smells so good and this one smells so good too. This is the Magnolia Apple Blossom. The will focus. It's also really hard to hear me because I don't have like my speaker muff and I always just do voiceovers, but Oh my gosh, this smells so good. I'm definitely gonna pick that up. I think it's gonna smell so good in the living room. Okay, so this one is, I never see this word right, but Pinoy Rosewater and Freesia. If that, if I'm saying that right. And it, I, why is my camera not focusing today? It does not smell good. I, I'm not a fan. It's too flower scented. It's too floral and I don't really like florals to be honest with you So I'm gonna pass on this one Okay, so this one is sandalwood white cedar and amber and I usually like things that are scented sandalwood so Okay, this one's a good one too that if you love you if you usually like scents that have sandalwood in it you're really gonna like this one. Okay, so this one is fresh linen and sea salt, and I think I smelled this last time and I really liked it, but I didn't buy it. So, I really like it, it smells really good. The linen smell is pretty calm. It's not like overly linen, like you know how sometimes Bath and Body Works candles can be like overly linen-y? This one's very balanced, and I think this would smell really good, but probably not in a living area. I would probably burn this like in my bedroom upstairs. Okay, so this is the one that I have at home that I love, 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 and I bought three of already, and it is the Honey Oat Milk and Almond, and it is my favorite, favorite, favorite. If you ever see this candle, get it. Oh my gosh, and if you even go to Target, just get it and smell it, and if, even if you don't buy it, like DM me on Instagram and let me know if you love this scent, because it is, I'm not even being over dramatic. it is the best smelling candle I've ever smelled. And I'm about to buy like three more, seriously, I'm not even joking. And they burn all the way down, these candles burn so good, and then I burn, or I like freeze like the wax out, and then I use these to hold Q-tips or just to DIY stuff, put them on a floating shelf for decor. So I think I'm gonna get this one and I'm gonna get that Magnolia apple blossom i know i'm being super dramatic about candles but i love scents and aromatherapy and just all of that and so i take it very seriously my mother-in-law says that i'm a scent mixer because i use different scents all of the time like she's like oh she finds one scent and that's the only thing that she can use in her home she can never mix a scent and i mix them all the time so you guys have to let me know are y'all scent mixers as well or no I am super chatty in this video, so I hope you guys don't mind <laughs> how much I'm talking, but there is so much that I want to say about all the new home decor and new arrivals at Target, and I also wanted to mention these plates. I'm absolutely loving the color scheme that they have going on here. The blues, the yellow, the peaches, bringing that in for spring and keeping it for summer. I love that. They even have the matching napkins if you are someone who likes to keep and display their napkins out and they're only three dollars a pack so I also found this woven tray and it's more of a warm tone woven and I really really love that I want it so badly for my breakfast nook table I couldn't find a price so I went over and scanned it and I think it was 15 they even have the utensil holder that matches which is also 15 and I didn't end up buying it I put it in my cart and then I thought about it for a while and I was like you know I'm going into the store today with a budget. 
and it's mainly for Easter and the family. I can't keep buying for myself. So maybe another time, guys, maybe next time I come, it will be still here. Um, something else that I've really been wanting, which is a random thing, are coffee cups with lids. So I go to take Bentley to school every morning and I really want my coffee, but I don't have any coffee cups with lids. So I wait till I get home to make my coffee. So I was like, you know what? This is a random find that I actually really need. And so for $10, they had those really cute ones with the wording on it. I wanted something that was plain. I love the Simply Modern brand. I have the girls' school cups are just all Simply Martin modern basically and i even have to say i am that person that loves simply modern more than the stanley cup i have both and i prefer simply modern so moving on to the rain boots so i ended up getting these rain boots for the girls i'll show you guys that um, in the hall here in a minute when we get back to my car and then also in the end of this video i do show you guys how i filled them for easter instead of using an easter basket the girls have been wanting new rain boots and i posted this idea over on tiktok i got almost a million views you guys love that so that was super exciting so i decided to go with it because everybody thought it was a good idea and the girls loved it i'm gonna move on because i want to show you some new things in the cosmetic section this brand sony kashuk i hope i'm saying that correctly i love this makeup brand and they have makeup bags that are affordable and so nice i've had sony kashuk two cosmetic bags from them they're both extremely wipeable i've spilt makeup i broke makeup in there before you can completely clean them up they have these bigger ones with patterns and then i'm going to show you here in a second they have more of a square one with the gold zipper that is the one that i currently have and i love it i travel with it and it is such a good cosmetic bag and after i show you guys that i'm going to show you one that stands up when you open it up it has like a mesh zipper where you can put your makeup brushes or your makeup sponges in the top and then in the bottom part you can stack your makeup um it doesn't have pockets or anything like that so i'm actually wondering if it's made more for like traveling with your shampoo your conditioner your body wash that sort of thing i'm showing it to you guys right now it's black and again it's completely wipeable a really good price tag and i just love their cosmetic bags i would have bought this if it was in that same rosy pale pink color um because i'm not really feeling the black but <laughs> I really love pink, so if they end up getting the pink ones at my Target or if I find them online, I probably will buy that. You know what is worse? Is my camera focusing? What's worse than forgetting where you parked? Forgetting where you parked when it's storming outside. Ow, I just ripped out one of my earrings too. Ow. I came out like I normally park in a certain spot in the Target parking spot because I'm like a creature of habit and it was all filled up today because I think everybody else just like me needs last minute Easter stuff so I had to park somewhere completely different on the other side and I came out and it's pouring rain which I know you're like it's not pouring rain it's sunny outside I live in Florida so it's weird it's like super sunny outside but pouring and super humid um <laughs> so i came out of the store and i walked all the way down the parking lot like got super far down I was like where's my car and then i realized i parked all the way over here so anyway i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys we're not gonna go into home goods like i said at the beginning of this i was like okay we might go into home goods too because i want to see what's up and what's new there um I say I haven't been to Home Goods in like two weeks, which I usually go every week just to kind of like see what's there and what's happening. But we went on vacay with my Kentucky family. Um, so we met them in the panhandle of Florida because I live in Orlando. If you're new here, I live in Orlando, Florida. So we met my Kentucky family in the panhandle around like the seaside area. And um, we stayed there for a week. It was really beautiful. But anyway, <laughs> anyway, um, I am going to show you guys what i picked up from target because we're not going to go in home goods because it's storming is basically what i'm getting at okay and then after this clip after i show you um we're gonna drive home and then after the girls go to sleep i'm gonna like get their baskets together their rain boots together i went with the rain boots idea um and 
yeah, I'll show you what it looks like. I'm going to do the rain boots for the girls, and then Bentley has a best friend. Um, her name is Harlow, and we always get her something because she always gets Bentley something for, like, Christmas, her birthday, Easter. So I'm going to do her an actual basket. She's a little bit older. I think she would enjoy that more. Um, so... I will end up showing you guys a basket and rain boots. But let's go ahead and let me show you guys what I got. Okay, so, so oh my gosh. The bag is soaked. It just got water all over me. Okay. The girls and Hunter and I, we absolutely love the Mandalorian. So, I found these super cute Pez dispensers. They have like the Mando one and then the Grogu one. And I definitely had to get these. So, I'm probably going to put Grogu in Brooklyn's. We'll talk about that when I show you guys how after this clip how everything is set up but i grabbed these two because you know so cute and kids love pads dispensers i also picked up this is kind of for me <laughs> but i'm gonna put one or two in the girls rain boots but i got the reese's eggs because reese's easter eggs and the christmas trees at christmas time are so much better I just locked my doors because it randomly hit me that I've been sitting in my car and I didn't have my doors locked and can't do that these days. Okay. So anyway, my mind guys, my mind. So anyway, the Reese's Easter eggs and the Christmas trees are so much better than regular Reese's. Like they really are like no one can tell me different. And I picked up a chocolate bunny. Everybody's got to have a chocolate bunny at Easter. Okay, and then I picked these up for Bentley. So, you guys saw this when I was shopping. I put them in the cart and I showed them. The pink ones with the heart I grabbed for Bentley. And then these with the little ladybugs and the flowers I picked up for Brooklyn. And they, oh my goodness, I just now realized that. It says the pink ones light up. Okay, and then I picked up, oh my goodness, guys, uh, this camera never focuses. I picked up these shorts. These are from Wild Fable, and I picked them up for me because I just thought it was a cute color. I don't normally wear denim. I usually wear biker shorts or like biker shorts literally every day. That's pretty much what I wear every day. Or some type of lounge shorts. Like right now I have these black lounge shorts on that are just like they have little frills on them but I thought that these would look really cute because it's hard to see in this lighting but they are, are an aqua color and I think this would be really cute with either like a black crop top or a white bodysuit so these were $18 and I think that's pretty I thought that was pretty good for some denim shorts I'm not pronouncing this right Mondu Llama I absolutely love them and this is like the paint your own set and it comes with three so I'm just gonna put it in between the girls rain boots and let them share this um, but I always think that these are super fun things to do and every time the girls like paint something like this like a wood piece um, you probably saw like during my like Christmas decorate and my fall decorating um, I put <laughs> little wood pieces that are painted around my house and they're from the girls things that they have made in the past. I put their name and the date on the back and I always use it as decor. So they'll paint these and I'll probably put these on my floating shelves in my office, to be honest with you. Okay, and then for her little friend Harlow, I picked up this little Lego set. Um, if you can kind of see, it's just one of those friends kit and they're making boba and her little friend like loves boba. Um, so pick this up to put in her little basket. Her little friend is a little fashionista like Bentley. So I picked up this claw clip that has this little charm. Like, so I'm about done with this camera. It never wants to focus anymore. I'm honestly just about to start using my iPhone <laughs> to film, but it has like a strawberry oranges and all these different pearls, like a little charm on it. So this was really cute. This was $5. Oh, that was only $5. I thought this was 10. That's a good price. This Essie nail polish that is a really pretty lavender color. And I'm honestly like 
now I want this for myself. Me and my sister and my niece are going to the Taylor Swift Eras concert and I'm doing my outfit is based off Lavender Haze from The Nights because that's my favorite song, Lavender Haze. So I'm actually thinking now seeing this that this would look really pretty on my fingers. It's the Essie Lavender Polish in case you are going to Eras Tour, the Eras Tour, and you are dressing that and you're like, oh, what's the name of that polish? It is called In the Universe. Universe, like Y-O-U. Universe. So anyway, but enough chit chatting here. So I am going to head home so I can make dinner for the family and then I will put the rain boots and the basket ticket together and show you guys what it looks like but I do want to say really quick before I stop chatting here um, if you enjoy this video so far please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and click the notification bell um, you know so that you can be notified when I post another video so let's get back into it Okay, so we have hit the end of this video and I wanted to show you guys how I did the girls Easter rain boots this year instead of an Easter basket. We put Pez dispensers in one of the boots and then I filled the other boot with um, Reese's eggs. The ones that I showed you guys that I bought, they each had a peep cup that also came from the Target dollar spot and then the um, paint your own kit for them to share and then I also picked up these Dr. Teal's the kids um, bath bombs because they love those and I'm going to put those into one of the boots as well and then after I show you guys this I'm going to show you the Easter basket that I made for her friend um, who is a little bit older so I got her the claw clip that I showed you guys the nail polish, some sour gummy worms, a chocolate bunny, and some more of the bath bombs, and then um, a Lego kit. I don't buy tons of stuff for the girls for Easter because they get Easter baskets from other family members, like their aunt gets them an Easter basket, and then their Didi and Poppy get them one, and I just don't want the girls to have so much that they're gonna expect so much every single year. So that's why her little friend got a little bit more in her basket. But thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today, going shopping and seeing the girls' Easter baskets. I hope you give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.